When did he die? Tuesday night, we believe. Um, he was found in a dumpster not far from his apartment. So, uh, a rather unpleasant story, I must say. Uh, he was shot in the head with a 12 gauge shotgun shell. Um, died instantly. The content in the box. Did it belong to him? Uh, yeah. Um, he left it for you. He, he hoped that you would take care of it just like he had. <clears throat> uh, though I am not taking a closer look at the content, I assume it's most fragile. That's very unwise of you, Mr. Peterson. In my business, puzzles like that might contain explosives. That's open. Do you believe in life after death, Mr. Peterson? Well, I, uh, I certainly believe in something, sir. Good. Go find out. Then. What a bloody mess. Yeah. You seem a little bit upset today, Don. What's the deal with that? Uh, nothing really, if you're not superstitious. It has a long line of death behind it. People own it, don't own it for very long. They all die, like flies. Don't try to spoke me, Don. That has ghost stories, nothing else. One might say, but I have reasons to believe in this. Friends of mine have died because of the glass. There's an infinite circle of death. And now, it's mine. is an opportunity to undo what the selected one did wrong listen to the glass the one who is selected does not enter the glass will forever wander out till eternity ends him
You have caused many people's deaths, Don. There was one in particular that was really bad. He was your former partner, Billy Norman. Billy was never a bad companion by any means. He was an honest man. His friends at least. You gained most of your current success with his help. We planned a risky affair with the shady power plant administrator. We hired a man to rob him. We took all of the money for ourselves. And in the ending, we were rich. But neither of you came home rich that day, did you? You saw your opportunity and you took it. You took all the money for yourself, which left Billy with nothing. As he was slowly sinking into his depression, he could only see one way out. Poor, poor Billy. He was a wealthy young man. Not very much of a drinker, really. I owe nothing to Norman! You owe your life to Billy. And if you still believe in that yourself, you better go stop him from doing something really, really stupid. Norman, he's... he's already dead since 15 years ago. This is 15 years ago. You better go over there. Check on him. I think you'll like being dead, Don. All of the problems of the living is far away from you. Everything is transparent. There is no sound in eternity. It's so quiet. Relaxing. And you don't really get drunk. Hey, Billy. Remember me? Billy, it's, it's me, Don. Your old partner. You really don't have to do this, Billy. Look, I'm sorry for what I did. And I, I can give you everything back. Every single coin. But just don't do this. Please, Billy, I'm sorry for what I did. I know I did wrong, but there's just some way for me to save your life. Please, tell me. So now I ask you, do you believe in life after death? Don, 